Yeah, otherwise known as the block, this piece of legislation introduced to Maryland's General Assembly would essentially force those businesses to close by 10 o'clock each night. Just a block away from city police headquarters, the 400 block of East Baltimore Street, also known as the block, knows crime. Last year, a stabbing at one strip club, another involving a shooting. Senate President Bill Ferguson says this bill will help stop more from happening. He, along with a handful of other Democratic lawmakers, as well as City Councilman Eric Costello and Police Commissioner Michael Harrison, are pushing the bill, ensuring all businesses with a liquor or adult entertainment license in the block close each night by 10. Quote, violence within and resulting from the block in Baltimore City's central business district has drastically increased in recent months despite a robust and consistent deployment by BPD, Harrison said in a statement. He also said there were over 800 calls for service last year, including eight shootings with 11 victims, 15 robberies, 17 aggravated assaults and one suspicious death. Many, he says, were, quote, brazen incidents with police officers in the immediate vicinity. The lawmakers also say the violence has led to disproportional deployment of officers, resources that could be used elsewhere, despite repeated attempts, they say, to improve security and take more actions to prevent crime along the block. There are already numerous ways for the city and liquor board to deal with nuisance establishments, attorney Andrew Saller told us in an email. Saller, who represented the block at one point last year, also said, quote, any attempt to impose an arbitrary and capricious restriction on these businesses will in all likelihood be met with stiff legal resistance. And we just learned a few minutes ago here as well that the Baltimore Street Association will be holding a press conference tomorrow at 11 in regards to this piece of legislation, sharing, quote, their frustration, confusion and anger. They're also going to talk about how the legislation would impact jobs, and they're also going to call on city leaders to start prosecuting and arresting low level crimes in light of the announcement of this bill. Live tonight, I'm Amy Liu, WBAL TV 11 News. <laughs>